Programming languages typically support a set of operators, constructs which behave generally like functions, but which differ syntactically or semantically from usual functions. Common simple examples include arithmetic addition with plus, comparison with greater than, and logical operations such as and or an and. More involved examples include assignment usually equals or smiley face, field access in a record or object usually, and the scope resolution operator often. Languages usually define a set of built-in operators and in some cases allow user-defined operators. equals <laughs> topic <laughs> syntax equals Syntactically operators usually contrast to functions. In most languages, functions may be seen as a special form of prefix operator with fixed precedence level and associativity, often with compulsory parentheses e.g. func a or func a in Lisp. Most languages support programmer-defined functions, but cannot really claim to support programmer-defined operators, unless they have more than prefix notation and more than a single precedence level. Semantically operators can be seen as special form of function with different calling notation and a limited number of parameters usually one or two. The position of the operator with respect to its operands may be prefix, infix or postfix, and the syntax of an expression involving an operator depends on its arity number of operands, precedence, and if applicable, associativity. Most programming languages support binary operators and a few unary operators, with a few supporting more operands, such as the, operator in C, which is ternary. There are prefix unary operators, such as unary minus x, and postfix unary operators, such as post increment x plus plus, and binary operations are infix, such as x plus y or x equals y. Infix operations of higher arity require additional symbols, such as the ternary operator, in C, written as A, B, C. Indeed, this is the only common example, it is often referred to as the ternary operator. Prefix and postfix operations can support any desired arity, however, such as 1, 2, 3, 4. Plus. Occasionally, parts of a language may be described as matchfix or «circumfix» operators, either to simplify the language's description or implementation. A circumfix operator consists of two or more parts which enclose its operands. Circumfix operators have the highest precedence, with their contents being evaluated and the resulting value used in the surrounding expression. The most familiar circumfix operator are the parentheses mentioned above, used to indicate which parts of an expression are to be evaluated before others. Another example from physics is the inner product notation of Dirac's bra ket notation. Circumfix operators are especially useful to denote operations that involve many or varying numbers of operands. The specification of a language will specify the syntax the operators it supports, while languages such as Prolog that support programmer-defined operators require that the syntax be defined by the programmer. Topic semantics The semantics of operators particularly depends on value, evaluation strategy, and argument passing mode such as Boolean short-circuiting. Simply, an expression involving an operator is evaluated in some way, and the resulting value may be just a value, an R value or may be an object allowing assignment an L value. In simple cases this is identical to usual function calls, for example, addition x plus y is generally equivalent to a function call add x, y and less than comparison x use of L values as operator operands is particularly notable in unary increment and decrement operators. 
In C, for instance, the following statement is legal and well defined, and depends on the fact that array indexing returns an L value. An important use is when a left associative binary operator modifies its left argument or produces a side effect and then evaluates to that argument as an L value. This allows a sequence of operators all affecting the original argument, allowing a fluent interface, similar to method cascading. A common example is the topic user defined operators. A language may contain a fixed number of built in operators, e.g., plus, asterisk. Most languages have a built in set of operators, but do not allow user defined operators, as this significantly complicates parsing. Many languages only allow operators to be used for built in types, but others allow existing operators to be used for user defined types. This is known as operator overloading. Some languages allow new operators to be defined, however, either at compile time or at run time. This may involve meta programming, specifying the operators in a separate language, or within the language itself. Definition of new operators, particularly runtime definition, often makes correct static analysis of programs impossible, since the syntax of the language may be Turing complete, so even constructing the syntax tree may require solving the halting problem, which is impossible. This occurs for Perl, for example, and some dialects of Lisp. Examples Common examples that differ syntactically are mathematical arithmetic operations, e.g., greater than, for, greater than, with names often outside the language's set of identifiers for functions, and called with a syntax different from the language's syntax for calling functions. As a function, greater than, would generally be named by an identifier, such as gt or greater underscore than and called as a function, as gt x, y. Instead, the operation uses the special character greater than which is tokenized separately during lexical analysis, and infix notation, as x greater than y. Common examples that differ semantically by argument passing mode are Boolean operations, which frequently feature short circuit evaluation, e.g. a short circuiting conjunction X and y that only evaluates later arguments if earlier ones are not false, in a language with strict call by value functions. This behaves instead similarly to if, then, else. Less common operators include comma operator, e, fd reference operator, asterisk p and address of operator, and x, or ternary operator, number equals spell underscore out underscore numbers. 42, 42 Elvis operator, x, y null coalescing operator, x, y spaceship operator for three way comparison, x, y. Compilation A compiler can implement operators and functions with subroutine calls or with inline code. Some built in operators supported by a language have a direct mapping to a small number of instructions commonly found on central processing units, though others e plus used to express string concatenation may have complicated implementations. Topic operator overloading In some programming languages an operator may be ad hoc polymorphic, that is, have definitions for more than one kind of data, such as in Java where the plus operator is used both for the addition of numbers and for the concatenation of strings. Such an operator is said to be overloaded. In languages that support operator overloading by the programmer such as C++ but have a limited set of operators, operator overloading is often used to define customized uses for operators. In the example if order underscore date greater than December 2011 and order underscore date the 1st of January 2013 then continue else stop, the operators are greater than greater than and and less than
Topic: <laughs> Operand coercion. Some languages also allow for the operands of an operator to be implicitly converted, or coerced, to suitable data types for the operation to occur. For example, in Perl coercion rules lead into 12 plus 3.14, producing the result of 15.14. The text 3.14 is converted to the number 3.14 before addition can take place. Further, 12 is an integer and 3.14 is either a floating or fixed point number a number that has a decimal place in it so the integer is then converted to a floating point or fixed point number respectively. JavaScript follows opposite rules. Finding the same expression above, it will convert the integer 12 into a string 12, then concatenate the two operands to form 123.14. In the presence of coercions in a language, the programmer must be aware of the specific rules regarding operand types and the operation result type to avoid subtle programming mistakes. Topic. Operator features in programming languages The following table shows the operator features in several programming languages. Topic. See also Relational operator Notes <laughs> <laughs>